Hey everybody, what's going on? Leo Pazzo TV here. Thanks very much for tuning in. You're looking at the 125 gallon saltwater coral reef fish tank. <laughs> Now day three that I've added the live rock or should I say dry rock along with the bacteria this is by aqua vitro sea chem and it is called the seed bacteria and it is supposed to rapidly and safely establish the aquarium biofilter so as per the instructions on the bottle it says on day one you need to add one capful which is five milliliters for every 10 gallons of tank water so I have in total with my display tank and and my self filtration in total 180 gallons so therefore for every one capful, for every 10 gallons, I added 18 capfuls. And for the remainder of the week, the instructions say to add one capful for every 20 gallons of tank water. So now we are day three and on day two, we're gonna do the same thing. Half of 18 is nine. I'm going to add nine capfuls for the 180 gallons of tank water that I have here in total. The temperature is at the right temperature that we're looking at, approximately 79 degrees. My salinity level is 1.026. So now on day three, I need to add another nine capfuls to the tank like I did on day two. So I'm ready to go ahead and do that. Maybe you're asking or thinking, where am I actually putting this in, into the tank, into the sump? And actually, yes, I'm actually putting it into the sump on the first chamber so we can kind of land onto the rubble live rock that I have in my sump filtration system. And then from there, kind of go throughout the sump and then get pushed back inside the tank. And the remaining capfuls I put here inside the display tank which also kind of get mixed around so I kind of split it up 50 50 between the sump and the display tank so guys that is what's going on I just wanted to give you guys an update on what's going on again it is day three that I've been using this bacteria here I'm gonna take you guys now to the back we're gonna shake up this bottle and we're gonna that's what it says on here make want to make sure that we shake up the bottle here and we're gonna go ahead and put the nine caps in the sump and the display tank and you guys are coming with me Bye. <laughs> So now we're in the fish room. I have the bottle bacteria. I'm just gonna give it another shake right now. And as I mentioned, I'm going to go ahead and pour in one capful, two, three, four, and five. Five caps into the sump and the remaining four, I'm gonna put them in the display tank. <clears throat> and now in the display tank, I can either put them close to the wave makers on either end of the tank, put one drop in the middle, one drop over there by that wave maker, One cap over there, and the last one in the middle. So there you go, I just added the nine caps as required on day three onto this 125 gallon reef tank in total volume 180 gallons. So hopefully with continued use of adding this bacteria to the tank over the next week, I'll be able to do some testing and then be able to hopefully, if all the water parameters come back good with the testing, I'll be able to introduce some fish. So stay tuned for that guys, we're gonna alkalimate some fish, we're gonna make sure all our parameters are within check before we start adding any type of fish to this tank guys. So stay tuned, Leo Pozzo Productions, much love. I appreciate you guys tuning in. Go ahead and subscribe right now. I appreciate you guys joining in in the challenge and along with the experience and just in general. Thanks for joining in guys. Much love and we'll see you guys on the next one.